Israel, these guys all pop up on TV as expert analysts and, uh, and scholars to tell us what it all means. But they never have any answers. They never have any solutions. All they have is warnings for America. And now we're on the precipice of maybe doing something. It's such a, it's a sham. Scam, what have you. He's right in so many ways. Right on the EIB network. Hey, when it comes to identity theft, you have a choice. Folks, you can rely on monitoring your credit and checking your bank statements, or you can get LifeLock to see more. LifeLock is able to see things you might not be able to see, like someone getting an online payday loan in your name. LifeLock uses proprietary technology to detect and alert you to a wide range of threats. And if you have a problem, one of LifeLock specialists will work with you to fix it. Now, of course, no one can prevent all identity theft or monitor all transactions at all businesses. But with LifeLock, you have identity theft protection that allows you to see more identity threats than you may otherwise miss. Membership start $9.99 a month plus applicable taxes. And you can get a 10% discount by using promo code BRUSH. Just call 800-440-4833 or go to LifeLock.com and use the promo code BRUSH. That's RUSH. 10% off. LifeLock 800-440-4833. With the right home security system, you can make your home safe. And right now for the holidays, Simply Safe has an incredible offer. Save $200 on a special home security package designed to protect your home. It's got entry sensors, motion sensors, glass breaking sensors, everything you need to stop criminals from touching your home. Save $200 today. Just go to simplysafeusa.com. That's $200 off at simplysafeusa.com. No, boys and girls, it's not the place, it's the preparation. That's the key to a comfortable shave. Shave secret preps your skin so the blade glides. No nicks, cuts, or rashes. Shave secret leaves you soft, smooth, and irritation-free. Check out thousands of five-star reviews. Shave Secret is available at Discount Drug Mart, Giant Beagle, Walmart, Super Centers, and ShaveSecret.com. Spring, late spring, and the early summer. 
and I hear frequently enough that people don't pay a whole lot of attention to farther away from the fires they live. But a fire started at 5.30 this morning out in California. That is, I mean, this is Los Angeles. This is Bel Air. This is Brentwood, potentially. This is Beverly Hills, potentially Hollywood. This is the 405, which is uh, the busiest highway in America on certain occasions. It's essentially a north-south artery. Your navigation system in your car will call it the 405. The locals call it the 405. It, it basically runs north-south, but it's, it's more north, north, west, south, southeast. It runs right by the Getty Center, and the fire is right across the interstate, right across the highway from the Getty Center. Getty Center is one of the primary art museums in the area. It stretches up, uh, I take a route. Uh, when I'm out there, this is the route that I take going to work every morning at 5.30, 5 a.m. or 5.30. Straight on the Beverly Hills, hit 405 and zip up there. I'm not going to tell you the final destination, uh, destination, because that means the next time I'm there, there be crowds outside the building. But that's the highway I take to get where I'm going. There's smirking in there on the other side of the uh, side of the glass. But um, this, this is not out in some wilderness area. This is Bel Air. Northern reaches of Bel Air, shortest, southest of Sherman Oaks, to what would be the east of the 405. Uh, Reagan lived in Bel Air. I, I joke that the average home price in Bel Air is $30 million. There's a guy named Gary Winnick who made a whole bunch of money in a funny way during the Clinton years. He was part of a fiber optic company that was involved in some sort of thing. He bought a $65 million home and overlooks the Bel Air Country Club. I, every time I play the course, so they, we all pointed out there it is and all what Winnick is doing up there. Similar to Michael Jackson's home that he lived in when he died, that he was from the Holmby Hills are just right down the road from, from where this baby place. Now, the fire has not reached, at least it had when the program started, it hasn't reached far enough south to get to Beverly Hills or even the Bel Air Country. But if you look at this on a map, if you find where Mulholland Drive, which is big, Nicholson lived there, if you look at Mulholland Drive where it intersects the 405, You'll see Sherman Oaks to the north and Beverly Hills. You'll see where this is. This is not out in the valley. This is Hollywood. This is L.A. This is bad. Back in a second. Who's at the top and bottom of the hour? This is News Radio WKAM 1100 and iHeart Radio Station. Good afternoon. I'm Rob Bailey. This is the 2.30 report. First, your channel three forecast. Today, mostly cloudy and cold with continued possibility of lake effect snow, a high of 12. Tonight, continued chance for early evening snow showers, a low around 2 above. Tomorrow, mostly sunny with a high around 14. Right now, it feels like 5 below with light snow at your Sunday weather station. Our top local story this New Year's Day, the 2017 Browns are the old, or pardon me, have become only the second team in NFL history to go 0-16 following yesterday's loss to the Steelers. Chris McNeil, who came up with the idea of a perfect season parade in that event, says the parade is on for Saturday at noon, along a learner way around First Energy Stadium. We crossed all our T's and dotted all our I's and made sure we had everything right there. I've uh, been working closely with the city specifically on security and on closing down the roads. Details on how you can take part are posted at WTAN.com. See you there. For millions of Americans, the first resolution of 2018 should be to bundle up. Wind chill advisories are up for a wide stretch of the U.S., from South Texas up to Canada, and from Montana to Wyoming, all the way through New England. Eight big West states, including just about all of Minnesota, Iowa, and the Dakotas, along with parts of Kansas, Illinois, Missouri, and Nebraska, are locked in the throes of dangerously low temperatures. Your next news at 3, or when it breaks, on Cleveland's News Radio, WTAM 1100. We are underway. A run is the ball with three seconds left. Down by two. Down going to most of the comes to the run. He takes a big run to win. Hear what happens next. All season on WTAM 1100 and 100.7 WMMS. Woo! Mike Tomato here from Nissan and Ursa. And I-90 Nissan. Just the Phillips. The Phillips have run.
old ladies I had been some confetti blonde that weren't trading the old year for you. Now that the balloons have dropped, the corks have popped, the calendar's swapped. Stop in to see us and save on an Anissa. Are you kidding me? The best part of the new year is 365 new chances to find out what thousands of Clevelanders already know. We just can't say enough to any deal. If you're looking for a new Nissan, we can save you up to $1,000 off. On top of that, you'll find APRs as low as 0%. And if you're looking for a pre-owned vehicle, you'll find hundreds and hundreds of great pre-owned vehicles at direct auction prices. Start off your new year by starting up a new Nissan. A Nissan North Thompson and a North Thompson Auto Lab. An I-9 in Nissan. Press 254, exit 148, Sheffield Village. That's that speed. They're so good. Visit us online at ZigBeeSign.com. It was April 2017. Judge Orson, the mother of all bombs, chemical attack in Syria. 2018. Four lines leaving. Stay focused on your goal for 2018 while using that new toy. Alexa, play iHeartRadio Spin Cycle. iHeartRadio has stations and playlists perfect for your workout. 24 hour cardio mix. Hip-hop workout radio, club gym country, plus playlists like rock workout, electronic dance workout, and more. Let iHeartRadio help you succeed in 2018. All your favorite music, all your favorite stations, all free. With a cab play, we are underway. Up front is the ball with three seconds left. Down by two. Now going amongst the cups to the front. He the Hear what happens next. All season on WTAM 1100 and 103.7 WMMS. Rush Limbaugh on News Radio WTAM 1100. Into the best of Rush Limbaugh. Ah. Are you welcome back? Great to have your Rush Limbaugh behind the golden EIP microphone. Who is this, Hannaway? The one who loves. This song is always going to remind me of those two nerds shaking and jiving to, to this on a Saturday Night Live. Back when I used to watch them. Like 10 or 15 years ago. Okay, here we go. I think this all makes everybody laugh now. All right, time to hit the phones. We will start uh, with Bob in Omaha. I'm glad you waited. Welcome to the program, sir. Hi, Rush. Thanks for taking my call. Okay. Um, I, was, I was wondering if uh, the Democrats are willing to push Franken and even Conyers out so that they in their minds, they think they can regain the high ground and come back at Trump because of the accusations that were made against him during the campaign. Well, yeah, I, I think there's no there's no question whether they're trying to force Franken and, and uh, Conyers out for that reason. I whether they're going along with it or not, but they're going to do that. I mean, since, since Franken and Conyers uh, are resigning, yeah, in fact. Uh, I, I will predict to you that it won't be long before we see a storyline in the drive-by media. And it's, I'm, I'm going to shorten it for you, but the essence of the storyline, DNC colon, Franken has to go. RNC colon, we love Roy Moore. That's going to be the story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they care at all about you know what went on. I think you know it's just all calculation. So but let's get your thoughts. So thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, this isn't. They're not going to get Trump with this. No, I don't think so. If that's what they're thinking. I mean, they, I I don't deny that that's their strategy, but that's not. They're not going to succeed with that. If that's why they're throwing these guys overboard, I don't think that's why they're doing it. It it, it, it may be a factor, but they. There's, there's no way with the positions they have taken on all of these issues, abortion, the women's rights, the feminism, they can't defend these people. It doesn't matter whether they, they're enabling themselves to get Trump or not, they can't. That This would finally expose them to charges of hypocrisy that would stick. I mean, this is the part, they've already got a problem. Look at what these journalists are doing now saying, 
20 years ago, we really made a mistake. We should have demanded Bill Clinton resign. Now that, I think, that was for the media to be able to clear its debt for any hypocrisy to go after Trump on this basis. Because, you know, hindsight, 20 years later, what harm can they possibly be doing? They saved Clinton and that's all that matters. The boy of Dinan has even got a piece now say, you know what, I would have done it differently back then, but I was protecting the policy. He's actually written a piece here. But this stuff is out of control. Weinstein and, and 95, 99% of these perpetrators are liberal Democrats. And there's no way they can defend them all. They simply can't. They have a bigger problem with this than I think they know. I think they think they're sweep, sweeping it under the rug. And I think they are taking solace of the fact that this is going to enable them to go after Trump. But folks, when have they not gone after Trump for something? They go after Trump for something every day. This isn't going to change that calculus. The calculus change, I'll tell you what's happening, is happening to them. The New York Times yesterday had the most incredible story, and I submit it was almost 9,000 words, and I think it was purposely written over. It, well, they had to publish it because it, the story is unavoidable. But I think they gussied it up with a lot of words and a lot of confusion so that the average New York Times reader would be nothing but confused. <laughs> or she managed to read all the way through it. But the point of the story was that Bill and Hillary Clinton were Harvey Weinstein's celebrity shields. And what the story means, what the story indicates is that Bill and Hillary Clinton knew what Harvey Weinstein was. They were told by Lena Dunham that he was a racist. And that he was a, a ra I'm sorry, ra uh, rapist. And that he was abused women. She warned them, and this was Hillary's campaign. She warned them, I don't care what you think of Lena Dunn, but on this, she's a loyalist to the Clintons, and she was begging Hillary to cut Harvey Weinstein loose. She was telling uh, Hillary that this guy's a rapist, that it's going to start coming out, that women for 20 years have been mistreated and abused by this guy. The Clintons knew, and they didn't care, and they didn't get rid of Weinstein. They continued to use Weinstein. They used him as a fundraiser. They used him as a guy to host parties for fundraisers. They used him as a donor. They used him as a bundler, knowing full well this is their vulnerability. This isn't Trump's. Two prominent women in media told the New York Times that they personally warned Hillary's campaign staff and Hillary herself in 2008 and 2016 that Harvey Weinstein was a known sexual assaulter and it was highly unwise to be so closely connected with him. Lena Dunham, quote, I just want you, I want to let you know that Harvey's a rapist and this is going to come out at some point. The source here is Christina Shockey, Clinton Campaign Deputy Communications Director, 2016. I think it's a really bad idea for Weinstein to host fundraisers and be involved with you because it's an open secret in Hollywood. He's got a problem with sexual assault. But Hillary didn't care. They knew this is the point. Just like with Matt and Bauer, these people are all claiming Titus now. They're so shocked at Weinstein. The Clintons knew. The crying out loud, Bill Clinton's on the airplane with the guy, with Jeffrey Epstein, which is the Lolita Express, I think they call the damn airplane. The crying out loud, this is screaming out. They knew everything going on. It didn't matter. Weinstein, people have, what would be the difference of jewelry when Harvey Weinstein is sleeping in a Lincoln Denver while he had it right now? Nobody would know. Those stories would not have run if Hillary had been elected. Now, Lena Dunham never said anything publicly about any of this. You find that interesting. Instead, what was Lena Dunham doing? She's out there campaigning for Hillary as hard as she could. She skipped the Golden Globes, the campaign for Hillary Clinton, January 10, 2016. 
Donovan says the Clinton staffer appeared to be shocked when told of Weinstein's proclivities. Said she would immediately report it to the Clinton campaign manager, Robbie Mook. Mook told the New York Times he was never warned about Weinstein, so he's throwing one of his own employees under the bus. So you got a couple liars here, you know who to believe. Dunham also says that she told Adrienne Elrod, a spokeswoman for Hillary, about Weinstein. Uh, Lena Dunham told the New York Times that Clinton campaign never did anything about her complaints or her warnings that Weinstein helped organize star-studded fundraisers for Hillary weeks after she warned the campaign about Weinstein. Along with Dunham's warnings, Tina Brown says that she told a member of Clinton's team in 2008 to look out for Weinstein and to distance the campaign from him. I was hearing Harvey's sleaziness with women had escalated since I left talking. See, she got a magazine at one Well, she got a magazine that he paid for. In 2000, it was called Talk Magazine. It bombed out. And people have asked Tina Brown, because she's the doy, and she's, she's the Sally Quinn of New York. A social architect, dinner party, cocktail parties, all this pizzazz. And they answer, sure the hell could you go into business with that scuzzbuck? Well, I didn't know. She said, I, didn't, I, I wasn't Harvey's type. Oh, you weren't Harvey's type. So you knew enough to know what kind of type he had and that you weren't it. As long as they can get Harvey's money, they were fine with it. And Harvey used them. Harvey Weinstein was was a, a, a shield for them, and they were a shield for him. They gave Harvey Weinstein stature. Look, who's the Weinstein? Harvey Weinstein and Clinton's were inseparably close. I have told you, I remind you, at the official unveiling of the Bill and Hillary Clinton portraits in the White House, it was a ceremony presided over by George W. Bush, by the way. That's when the portraits were unveiled.